that is a, hey, you're trying to like stop the show, which is not our intention here. Welcome, everybody. This is another edition of Think with a Drink, the weekly webinar series brought to you by the Aries Foundation for Financial Education. And this week's a fun show for us. We're doing cannabis investing. Let's call it for beginners. So this is a fun one. Uh, we call this Think with a Drink. Uh, the reason we do that is because we like to be more casual, more relaxed, you know, money, money matters, finances tends to be sometimes a little daunting, a little overwhelming, a little intimidating for folks, Greg, right? Sometimes. Well, absolutely. So at the end of the day, kind of the last thing you want to deal with. <laughs> right. And so, right. A, and the idea here with Think With A Drink is trying to make it just add more casual and we can't think of a better way to do that than if we have something cold to sip on. And this is a fun one for us and for me tonight. So this is sort of a, a special. This is we are drinking this evening Jack's Abbey's, and and we'll we'll talk about Jack's Abbey in a second. Uh, their blood orange wheat. But here's the thing for me, and all the times I have been to their brewery and all of the beers that I have drank from Jack's Abbey, I have never had the blood orange wheat. Now, I know this is one of your favorites. I have had it many times. Not only is it my favorite, it's my wife's favorite as well. See, there you go. So, you know, uh, I, I am interested in, and excited to try this. You know, so for those, the blood orange wheat, uh, this is a Rattler, right? So a Rattler is a lager. This is generally, uh, you know, originally like two parts beer and one part lemon essentially is what it was. That's how a Rattler started out, you know, and then it was lemonade. And then they just went crazy with all the different types of citrus that you can think of, which is how we get to the blood orange wheat, right? Mm -hmm. But this is a very, supposedly very easy drinking, Craig. Is that your opinion on this? Something that can be so. yeah. pounded during the hot summer months? Yeah, definitely not, not a heavy beer for sure. Not a heavy beer. Uh, so food pairings, usually with something like this because of the citrus, uh, vegetarian dishes, salads, um, sushi, uh, cheeses, specifically like feta or goat cheese, um, you know, stuff that's sweet and fruity, uh, citrus flavored type of things, including desserts, Greg. So any, you know, like lemon or meringue or those type of things certainly would go well with this. So let's, I'm going to, I'm going to try this. We both have a blood orange wheat in hand. I know that because I made sure you had one. There it is. Yep. A nice pour. Okay, you definitely get the, the blast of citrus mm -hmm. with that. Oh, there's an immediate tang of of, of orange on, on, on the palate the minute it hits your mouth there. Right. But once again, a nice light beer for the summer. Yes. Yeah, I don't, I I mean, I know for Jack Zabby, this has become like a major state. They originally just brewed this as like one of their one-off things, and it's become a staple now in the, in the brewery. Like, they can't get rid of it at this point. <laughs> but speaking of Jack Zabby, so those who have never been, uh, we just want to shout out a little congratulations to Jack Zabby. Jack Zabby made the top 50 U.S. craft brewers. Uh, it's a uh, the 2022 list. They 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 hit the top 50, which is an awesome thing. If you've never been to the brewery, it's 100 Clinton Street in Framingham, Mass. They've got a brew garden. They've got a you know the beer hall. It's a great place to go. Awesome beers, and a lot of times, Craig, there are beers on tap that you can't get anywhere but at the beer hall. It's not for, yeah, I mean they do they do do distribution, but not everything. Not everything. So it's kind of cool to go check out what's on tap there. The other picture there, that's our boy Nick. He's a friend from Jack's Abbey. We, Craig and I did an event where we had a bunch of people. Jack's Abbey was kind enough to have Nick come and do a tasting for the crowd that was there. Uh, talk a little bit about the beers that, that he was pouring for them. Give everybody a sample and a taste. So it was great. We, we, again, big shout out to Nick. He was terrific. And we had a lot of fun with that. But you get a chance, get to Jack's Abbey. Again, top 50 U.S. brewer right in Framingham, Mass.